Hello children. So welcome to AIMS India's online classes. So today from math subject basic geometric ideas topic we are going to continue. So in this video children let us try to solve some previous Olympiad questions based on this chapter. So what is the simplest of all geometrical figures which has no size but has a position means which has no size means no length no breadth no height no dimension but it will show a position so the answer is point a point is a geometrical figure which will show location without any size or dimension next so what is a set of points which extend infinitely in both directions called. So, which can be extended in both directions, which can be extended in both directions means, which can be extended in both directions means it is an example of line. So, a line can be extended on both directions. Next, third question. Name the set of points which is a part of line with two endpoints. So, if this is a line, so if uh, A is one point, then B is one point. So, this AB part, this AB part is a part of line which is having two endpoints, one is A, another one is B, which cannot be extended, which cannot be extended or whose magnitude is fixed, whose magnitude is fixed. So, it is an example of line segment. So, answer option B line segment. So, how is the line PQ symbolically written? So, line means on PQ we have to keep a bar with the two arrow marks at two end marks and two end points at two ends. So, not end points because line will not have any end point. It can be extended towards right side, extended towards left side. So, at two corners, two arrow, arrows we have to keep and this will be the symbol of a line. So, here only bar without arrows, no. Bar with arrows, correct. Bar with only one arrow, wrong. It is like a curve, wrong, arc. So, option B is correct. So, how do you write a line segment AB symbolically? Line segment means which cannot be extended, no arrow mark, fixed only on the AB we have to keep only bar. So, A option is correct. Two sides arrows line wrong, one side arrow ray wrong, no arrow, no bar wrong. So, answer is AB bar. It is a line segment. What is the symbolic representation of ray OP? Ray means which will be having one fixed point can be extended in one direction. So, OP bar with one side arrow mark. So, no arrow mark, two sides arrow mark, one side arrow mark. C option is correct. So, what are used to represent points? So, point A, point B, point C. We use capital letters A, B, C to represent points. So, capital letters of alphabets. So, option B. So, what is the number of endpoints of a line? Line does not contain any endpoints because it can be extended on both sides. The endpoints of line as it is having no endpoints, so answer is 0. So, what is the set of points extending infinitely in all directions on the same flat surface? Set of all points which are lying on the same flat surface, same flat surface whatever points are there, combination of all points on a flat surface, 
it is called as a plane sorry it is called as a plane option b next how many lines can be drawn passing through a given point so if you have only one point passing through that point first line second line third line fourth line fifth line sixth line seventh line like that infinite number of lines we can draw passing through one point one given point so option c is correct so how many lines can you draw joining two distinct points so if we have two different points can then joining them we can draw only one line we can draw only one line if we have two distinct points so three points p q r are said to be collinear collinear so where do they lie if they are collinear where do they lie in the name itself we are having collinear means linear means line they will lie on the same line they will lie on the same line so they are called collinear so four lines p q r and s are said to be concurrent are said to be concurrent so what do they pass through concurrent means if all of them they are passing through same point then they are said to be concurrent lines all different lines so l m n o we have four different lines but four different lines passing through the same point so then they are called concurrent lines in the given figure what is the point p called here different lines passing through one point so the lines are called concurrent lines then what about that point point is called point of concurrence point of concurrence point of concurrence so in the given figure what are lines l m and n are called l m n r passing through same point so they are called concurrent lines so they are called concurrent lines they are called concurrent lines in the given figure what are points p o q call they are asking about points one point is p one point is o another point is q p o q they are lying on different lines so they are not collinear they are not lying on same line they are lying on different lines so the points are called non collinear points non collinear points next l m n o these four are the points on a line so this l o length of l o equals to ln plus n o ln plus n o so length of l o is divided into two parts one is ln another one is n o so ln plus n o bar so a b c d they are asking about ad what is the length of ad length of ad length of ad equals to ad minus sorry uh, please change it as the uh, ac they are asking length of ac length of ac how much length of ac how much so in uh, ad we have to remove cd then we will get the length of ac so in ad we have to minus this dc dc part we have to minus dc part we have to minus
So, which instrument is used to compare two line segments? Which instrument is used to compare two line segments? Two line segments. So, we can take a divider, we can take a divider and we can keep one point, another point, we can keep the one point of one end of divider here, we can stretch the divider, we can stretch the divider up to here, another line also, we can compare, with the help of divider, we can compare two line segments. Next one, twentieth question. So, which of the which of these instruments are used to construct a line segment? So, we can construct a line segment with the help of scale and compass or divider. So, with compass and scale, we can draw a line segment. Next, a line segment AB bar four point six centimeter. Another line segment CD bar 3.8 centimeter. What is the measure of line segment whose length is equal to difference of AB bar and CD bar? So, from 4.6 we have to remove 3.8. From 6 we cannot remove 8. We can take 1 borrow. From 16, 8 remove means 8. Point downside point. Here 3 will be there. 3 minus 3, 0. So, 0 0.8. So, answer 0 0.8 centimeter. So, how many points are needed to draw a rectangle? For drawing a rectangle, we have to take the help of 4 points so that we can draw a rectangle. So, answer 4 points. How many lines can be drawn that passes through two different points? Already this type of question came to them. Two different points, we can draw only one line. We can draw only one line. So, which of the following statement is false? Two radii of a circle are equal. True. AB bar is same as BA bar. Both are same line segments. Their lengths are fixed. So, they are same. AB ray is same as BA ray. AB ray is same as BA ray means AB ray is going towards B direction. BA ray is going towards A direction. False. Their directions are different. BA bar is same as AB bar. BA bar can be extended in both directions. AB bar also can be extended in both directions. True. So, which one is false means C option. So, what do two points in a plane determine? Two points are there means in a plane, we can, through two points, we can draw exactly one line segment. So, option B. So, which of the following statement is true? Every ray has a definite length, wrong, because a ray will extend in one direction, no definite length. Every line has a definite length, wrong, it can be extended in both directions. Every line segment has a definite length, correct, because it will have two end points. Every point has a definite length, no, because point, it won't contain any length. It just say, says the location. So, answer option C is correct. So, how many line segments are possible with three non-collinear points? If we have three non-collinear points, we can draw one, two, three line segments and we can form a triangle. So, answer three line segments. So, what is the number of line segments in a cuboid? Cuboid means square shaped box. Square shaped box. Square shaped box. So, this one four line segments. This one 4 line segments, 8 line segments, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, total it will be having 
12 line segments. Cube will be having 12 line segments. So, how many rays can be drawn from a given initial point? From one point, we can draw infinite number of rays. We can draw infinite number of rays from one point. So, infinitely many. So, what is the common end point of the two rays of an angle called? For an angle ABC, B is the common end point. Their angle will be formed. B is called vertex of the angle. Vertex of the angle. Next one, what do you call a line which intersects two or more lines at different points? So, one, two, three. If we have three lines, one, two, three. If we have three lines, the line, suppose if the lines are L, M, N, the line P which intersects three lines at uh, this point is different, this point is different, this point is different at different points. So, then, then the line P is called a transversal. It is called transversal. Next one. L is parallel to M. Line L is parallel to M. L is parallel to M. And this M is parallel to N. So, then what about L and N? then L and N will also be parallel. L and N also be parallel. Means parallel to same will be parallel. So, L parallel to N. So, which of the following is an example for a pair of parallel lines? Corners of a room, they are perpendicular. Railway track, they will never meet. Railway track, they will never meet with each other. The gap between them anywhere will be the same. So, railway track is an example of parallel lines. Sides of triangle, not parallel. Crossroads, crossroads, crossroads not parallel because the angle between crossroads is 90 degrees. So, answer railway track. Here are the three points which form a triangle. Which three points form a triangle? The points which lies like this. Means which are not collinear. Which are non-collinear. Which do not lie in the same line. They will form a triangle. So, what is the longest chord of circle? For a circle, chord means joining any two points on the circle. Out of all the chords, what will be the longest? The diameter which passes through the circle, which passes through the center of circle, it will be longest. So, answer diameter. If the diameter of a circle is 7.12, then what is radius? Diameter. So, diameter passes through radius. So, this part will be, so this passes through center, this part will be radius, this part will be radius, diameter equal to 2 radius, radius equal to diameter by 2, half of the diameter. If diameter 7.12, then radius how much? 7.12 by 2. So, 3.56, 3.56. So, what do you call? Each equal part of the circle divided by its diameter. So, if diameter divides the circle into two parts, the two parts are equal and they will be equal to half of the circle and are called semicircles. And are called semicircles. So, what type of angle is inscribed in a minor segment? So, in a circle, in a circle, in a circle, if you draw a card, if you draw a card, it will divide the circle into bigger part, smaller part. Smaller part is called minor. 
minor segment larger part is called major segment minor segment major segment now the question is now the question is if this is a minor segment what is the angle formed in minor segment the angle formed in minor segment always greater than 90 degrees always greater than 90 degrees means obtuse angle the angle formed in a major segment means from the chord to the same point either this point you can take any point any point on the circle if it is joined from chord of end point of chord from this side from this side the angle formed here is called angle inscribed in major segment angle inscribed in major segment angle inscribed in major segment any angle but all the angles will be less than 90 degrees so the angle inscribed in major segment is acute minor segment is obtuse so here they asked minor segment in smaller segment angle greater than 90 degrees will be formed so answer obtuse angle so in major segment in major segment in major segment angle formed at the circle is less than 90 degrees so answer is acute angle suppose if it is semicircle if it is semicircle diameter exactly divided into two parts then semicircle 90 degrees angle will be formed either upwards or downwards because both the segments are equal no major segment no minor segment two segments are equal so in semicircle right angle will be formed right angle will be formed so what is the area bounded by a chord and a minor arc area bounded by a chord so this is a b suppose if this is c ab is the chord ab is the chord acb acb is the arc acb is the arc or minor arc then this area is called minor segment this area is called minor segment so what is the total boundary length of circle is called total boundary total boundary total boundary is called circumference total boundary is called circumference next which of the following is the approximate value of pi so pi means 22 by 7 circle total boundary length 2 pi r where pi equal to 22 by 7 whose approximate value is 3.14 whose approximate value is 3.14 so the circumference of a circle is approximately equal to dash times of its diameter circumference of circle formula 2 pi r where we can write it as pi into 2 r or we can write it as pi into 2 r is called diameter so circumference is pi times of diameter pi times of diameter pi times of diameter or if they ask radius we can tell 2 pi times of radius 2 pi times of radius pi times of diameter they ask a diameter here so pi times of diameter okay children so still some questions are there we can learn in our next class children so thank you for watching our video children so please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates so you can also visit our website children www.aimstudy.in for other information regarding online classes, quizzes, worksheets, activities, English classes, coding classes. Okay, children. Thank you, children. Have a good day.